Hello everybody, and in this tutorial we got some more tricks from how to cheat in motion. Um, and we're going to learn how to make this little scene here. It's just, um, you know, it's kind of an illusion. It looks like 3D text with a shadow. Okay, pretty cool. And um, once again from my favorite author, Patrick Sheffield. And um, let's get started. So the way we're going to get started is we're going to start with a new a new scene okay let's go ahead and open our project up let's go to our library and we'll go to our generators tab and we're going to get a gradient and we're going to apply that gradient let's go to our inspector and let's change our gradient to grayscale Okay, let's turn down our gradient now, and let's make this last one here. Let's click on the color swatch, and let's make it gray instead of black, like that. Looks pretty good. Let's right-click and say Edit Position. This will allow us to edit our gradient, and I'm going to position my gradient down here in the corner, like so. Just to give it a little grayness there on, this, on the corner there. Okay, now that we got our gradient... We can turn off our gradient if you want to, or we can leave it on. It's completely up to you. It doesn't matter. I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to select my text tool by hitting the T key and turning on my text tool. And I'm going to click, and I'm just going to type love. And we're going to make our size, oh, I'm going to say about 155. Well, let's make it about 156. 157 will be fine. Be right on. Good enough. No magic number. And uh, let's set our font to uh, stone sands like that and let's hit our escape key to get out of there and now we have our simple text of love okay so now let's go to the style tab and let's set, set our face to fill with gradient okay now let's go ahead and select the left tag of the of the RGB gradient so we'll turn it down we'll select our left tag here and we're going to change these numbers to all 3.87 like so okay we're going to set the location right here 15 percent okay now we're going to select the right tag and we're going to set it as well so let's select our right tag and that'll bring those settings up we're going to set them to 0.38 And that gives us a nice little gray gradient there. Let's go ahead and set our angle to minus 60. Okay. Now we're going to go to our properties tab. Right up here like this. And we're going to set our position. Okay, so let's turn down our position. Let's set it to minus 44. The next one we're going to set to 99. And then the next one we're going to set to 27. Or let's say 28. Now let's turn down our rotation tab, and we're going to set our rotation, okay? We're going to set the first one to minus 50 in the X, okay? In the Y, we're going to put minus 18, okay? In the Z, we're going to put minus 27, all right? Let's go ahead and set our anchor point now to 160 and 101. So we'll come down here to anchor point, 160 and 101 okay so far so good now let's go ahead and add a filter it's going to be the extrude filter so we'll add filter stylize extrude okay let's set the angle to 314 okay let's set the distance to 33 and let's set the back size to 0.95 okay now we got that set up let's go ahead now and call up our text tool again by hitting the T key and let's type hate okay we're gonna set this time the size to 160 or maybe 163 164 okay now we're gonna place this layer between the love and the gradient layer so I'm gonna drag it down 
and I'm going to place it between the love and the gradient right there like that now let's click on the style tab and we're going to and then we're going to set the uh, face fill to fill with gradient all right now we're going to edit the gradient okay, so let's go to our gradient here let's go ahead and set it to grayscale like so turn down our disclosure triangle okay so now let's go ahead and set the angle let's set the angle to 95 okay let's set the opacity to 86 and let's set the blur to about 5.65 all right so now let's go to the properties of the, of the hate text and we're gonna set the position so let's turn down our position we're gonna make the first one here in the X we're gonna make it minus 47 the next one in the Y we're gonna make minus 74 and then the Z we're gonna make 35 now we're gonna set our rotation X rotation is gonna be minus 58 Y rotation is gonna be minus 22 Z minus 24 now we just need to set our anchor point to 185 and 88. So let's set our anchor point, 185, 88. Turn back on our gradient, and boom, we now have our 3D, our simulated 3D text with the shadow. And of course, the shadow could have said love, you know, or whatever. But there we go. Hope you guys have took something from this little text tutorial, and I look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.